Hi all, it's Foxboro and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to do the story quest. I'm not going to talk much since I'm just showing you how to quickly go through the quest instead of telling you what they are about. So not much talking, but sometimes I'm going to tell you how to fix some bugs that I heard of. Whenever the pop-up window shows and you can answer yes or no, remember to answer yes since this is going to start the encounter. As you can see, I had problems mounting the dragon, I just couldn't do it. And normally I would just change this dragon to another one and it would probably fix the problem, but since I was on the timer, I decided to run for my life and it actually worked. So don't worry if you can't mount your dragon, you probably can make it anyway. The second quest is called Hide and Shriek and we can pick it up from Snatloud. I like this one a lot and I love that School of Dragons is actually doing something with the old locations and the whole concept of Hide and Seek was pretty cool. So the quest won't really tell you that until you click on Snatloud, but you are supposed to bring one dragon bone, which is next to our dragon. I was pretty confused, so I decided to open the journal, but it only said that I should gather for hide and seek. But we can still return the bone to Snatloud. Now it's time to find a hiding spot and the arrow is not really going to be helpful with the second hiding spot. Since it looks like we are supposed to go through the mountains. So we are going to go behind it and look for Snatloud. Once again, remember to click yes on the encounter or it just simply won't count. Once again, we are without our dragons, but we can make it. But don't worry, it's not as stressful as the encounter in Dark Deep.
And as you can already see, our dragon is unlocked and we can mount it, but the problem is that something bugged out with the fire. Um, so if you don't have the shooting um, button, just change the dragon and use it to shoot the bone upper. Next quest we can pick up from Rafnat. And in this quest we have to go to Vanaheim to meet Skulder and I hope I pronounced it correctly. The arrow will be leading you to the map. So what I did was opening the journal and clicking recap, which somehow triggered the cinematic and everything started working again. But from what I heard, you can also just click on the X on the map and it's going to teleport you into the night version of Vanaheim. Now it's time to race with the bone upper and the dragon is pretty slow so you don't really have to change a dragon just to race with it. There was one small bug that I encountered because there is like a big green devs ribcage or something and I started losing my speed and it looked like I just hit an invisible wall. But as you guys can see it actually worked out in the end so whatever as long as it's working. The last quest is called Grave Danger and we can pick it up from Valka. And as you will see I was pretty confused with some parts of this quest, but I still loved it and I think it's one of my favorite quests in School of Dragons.
School of Dragons decided to add a ladder in the clubhouse and I'm super happy about it since I was actually talking about the whole upper area that is not being used and I want to believe that School of Dragons actually watched my video but anyway the ladder is weird and I couldn't understand how it works at the beginning but it works exactly as the um, walls that we can climb on So that's it for this episode, I hope it was helpful, good luck with the story quests and see you in the next one!